Cheers, guys! English Abisco here. And after over 95 years protected by copyright, Steamboat Willie and the Mickey Mouse character is now in the public domain. I know it's a little more complicated with the different versions of Mickey Mouse over the years, but it's crazy that this day has come. Many fans who grew up watching Mickey Mouse cartoons in the theaters in like the 1930s are already dead. It's like that date has been pushed back for so long, so many times, that it felt like that it would never happen. But now, the day has come. So first, let's go over a brief history of Mickey Mouse in the public domain. Mickey Mouse was created and copyrighted in 1928. During this time in America, the Copyright Act of 1909 determined how long copyright would remain in force. So under that act, copyright would last for 28 years and could be renewed for another 28 years after that, for a total of 56 years. So back when Mickey Mouse was created, and even when both of his creators, Walt Disney and Ub Iwax, died, the Disney Company was only expected to have the exclusive rights to Mickey Mouse until 1984, after which it would fall in the public domain. But due to the Copyright Act of 1976, Disney's copyright for Mickey Mouse was now set to expire in 2003. And by the 1990s, that horrifying, scary date was starting to come closer. The day when... <gasps> Disney would lose its exclusive rights of its beloved character, Mickey Mouse, to the public domain! So Disney lobbied the US Congress starting in 1990. There were some other parties lobbying the Congress over this. This was all supported by Sonny Bono, the ex-husband of Chair and House of Representatives member, supported an extension of copyright. So in 1998, the Copyright Toy Extension Act was passed. This bought Disney 20 more years to keep the rights of Mickey Mouse within its walled garden. Now, the copyright for Mickey Mouse was set to expire on New Year's Day 2024. That's over 95 years after Steamboat Willie was released back in November of 1928. I don't think that many people who watched the debut in the theaters back then, who remember seeing the movie when a voice came out, are still alive today. And as that day was approaching, I was half expecting Disney to try to extend the copyright yet again. But luckily that never happened, so a few days ago, Mickey Mouse finally entered into the public domain. So that means you can freely do anything you want with a fast few Mickey Mouse cartoons that were copyrighted in 1928. So I'm pretty sure if you own a movie theater, you can screen Steamboat Willie without having to ask Disney for permission and make money off of it. And it's kind of become a meme for people to post Steamboat Willie on YouTube, completely unaltered, or sometimes even do remixes of it. And now, let me talk about the length of copyright. It just lasts way too long. Copyright is absolutely necessary to protect intellectual property rights, especially in this day and age of easy ripoffs and scams, leeching money off of the original creator. But 95 years, that's more than a lot of people even live to. Is that amount of time really necessary? I think it's a really horrible thing for society. So much knowledge is withheld from the public because that knowledge is under copyright. Like, all nitrate film has decayed away into mush in the vaults because its contents are still under copyright. We can't even preserve these priceless films. And there's probably so many more consequences of how long copyright is. As for Disney as a company, it's amazing. Especially because Disney has become a huge media empire in the past 10 or 15 years. They own 20th Century Studios, Pixar, Marvel, ABC, The Muppets, Lucasfilm, Hulu, and owns a majority of ESPN and National Geographic, and more. Yes, it's media, but it's far more than just movies and TV. Entertainment, basically. From nature documentaries, to news, to sports broadcasts, they own so much stuff. And Disney has become a little notorious for fighting people to the death if they believe that their intellectual property rights have been violated. There's a famous case of where Disney refused to let a father put a picture of Spider-Man on his young son's grave. A grieving father to pay tribute to his own son who loved Spider-Man. And it's scary how much power one company has. And Disney is not the only media conglomerate. 
vs NBC Universal, Paramount Global, Fox Corporation, Warner Brothers Discovery, and more. Almost every recognizable name in entertainment and media is owned by a huge media conglomerate. The Simpsons? That's Disney property. Iron Man? That's also Disney property. Heck, even ESPN College Game Day is partly owned by Disney. And I don't know about you, but these huge corporations having complete control over what they produce, how they're used, even if it's bad for humanity, is pretty scary. And at the end of the day, this is gonna make public domain look bad in a way. Like the voice winning the poop book by A.A. A. Milne went into the public domain last year, and like immediately after that happened, a Winnie the Pooh horror film, Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey, was announced. There will be a lot of stupid things that otherwise shouldn't really exist created out of Mickey Mouse. The whole Winnie the Pooh movie that came out for horror movie was little more than a gimmick, only existing to shock people just for the sake of it, because they now legally could. What could happen to Mickey Mouse could be even crazier, and not in a good way. He's an icon of Disney and American culture in general. But he's also become an icon of Disney, never wanting to let go of their creation. And because Disney kept on delaying the inevitable, kept on trying to push the pressure back, I think the inevitable is going to blow up in their face and become such a huge explosion that otherwise wouldn't have happened if they let Mickey Mouse go into the public domain years ago. And I'm a little worried of what people will be inspired to do with Mickey Mouse now. I mean, I am a fan, so, yeah, all because it took so long for him to fall into the public domain. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is. Mickey Mouse is in the public domain. I never thought I would be saying this, but yeah, that's all there is. Bye now!